Hello. See, that is only one minute until, until the half past. So, hello everyone, this is the first for you. Today is Wednesday and you are in Atunkawa Zone. Following, we will have uh, Milan's Antonovic's call, uh, talk called Swiss, uh, Swiss Voyage, the free and open source board hall data management system. I guess that is fine if you got, want to start already. So I will leave you to share and have the talk. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Milan Antonovic. I am a researcher at uh, SUPSI. Uni, uh, the University of Applied Science uh, and Arts of uh, Southern Switzerland. And uh, I am uh, uh, the core developer of Swiss Forage, an uh, open source borrowed data management system. So, okay, uh, let's start uh, explaining um, uh, uh, the importance of uh, the shallow underground because uh, the, the uppermost 500 meters uh, are the most widely used today. 90% uh, of all underground activity are there. And uh, borrowed data uh, reveal uh, the sequence of geological layers. That, uh, 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 with having this data, is very important to have uh, an overview of the geological condition of the of a country. So nowadays, uh, data handling. Uh, uh, what are the common practice? Uh, generally, the most used approach is uh, that the geologists produce static data reports, and uh, where they describe all the characteristic of the stratigraphy. Sometimes this is uh, integrating into uh, the databases, but rarely uh, the borrowed data are stored in the following uh, standards. Uh, so in Switzerland, the Federal Office of Topology uh, uh, developed uh, the borrowed data model. This uh, uh, have uh, the main focus is to ben uh, there are some benefits and uh, the benefits of course having a standard is uh, that uh, the exchange of the data is uh, easier uh, the usage and the quality of course that are are harmonized so in the in the level of details uh, there are some vocabulary uh, with precise definition and the uh, dependency and uh, relationship between uh, the data are well defined. And uh, of course, uh, there is uh, a common language between the uh, stakeholders. So in 2018, Swiss Topo financed the SUPSI for the development of uh, a new web application that uh, offer um, uh, the, the management and the exchange of borrowed data following the the standard uh, with a phosphor G, uh, free, with a free and open source license. So, how is the architecture of the software? Uh, may, mainly, there are three uh, modules, uh, three layers. Uh, at the bottom, we have the uh, the backend. That is uh, a web service written in Python and uh, handles and orchestrates several well known uh, open source projects. Uh, in the middle, we have developed uh, a JavaScript API that exposes all the communication with the web service that can be used in, in, in the web application. And at the top, we have implemented the web uh, interface. Uh, all of these modules are dockerized and there is a uh, docker image available and can be published easily in the cloud on every docker compatible uh, environment using uh, docker compose so how it works uh, we have two 
modes. One is uh, the viewer mode and the other the editor mode. In the viewer mode, it's offer a read-only access to the data where a user can explore uh, with an interactive map, search data uh, with filters, attribute filtering, and uh, export selected the borrow data in PDF, CSV, or shapefile. The editor mode is, uh, uh, is a mode that can uh, that offer the, the insertion of uh, borrowed data and uh, the validation and uh, the, the publication process. So uh, in the editor mode, we have uh, developed uh, this uh, publication workflow. Uh, the workflow is uh, taught to ensure data quality. And uh, we have implemented this by introducing uh, different kind of users. So uh, at the beginning, we have uh, the data producer that uh, insert all the data. Then we have the data controller that check the correctness of the data. We have a validator that check uh, the validity in, in confront of uh, the, the law, if, if it's uh, OK, uh, based on the, the law, law standards. And finally, the, the publisher that uh, decide which data will be available uh, to the public. So in each step, uh, uh, each user can uh, push forward or push back, asking for a verification or modification uh, the the borrow uh, that. During this process, all the user can add some comments uh, using uh, a tool that can nominate uh, specific fields, setting uh, and uh, uh, talking to each other. Uh, we have also added work groups. So every work group can have different user, but uh, uh, same user can also belong to different work group. And uh, the same user can also have different roles in different work group. So that means that uh, every work group have uh, a workspace where uh, all the data are visible only to the, uh, to the user until uh, the validation process, the publication process is finished and then uh, the published data are available to everyone, also to guest uh, users. There is a high uh, degree of customization so uh, every field uh, can be uh, we can define uh, the visibility of uh, fields in the in the search we can also choose between six different uh, display mode of, of the map in the viewer mode we can add external uh, uh, wms the exportation of data is uh, quite easy so you just select which borrower are interesting for you and uh, you can then download uh, the, the data in different form you can choose between shape file csv and pdf uh, there is in the last um, version we have uh, added uh, an import export tool that is uh, for administrators that's offer the possibility to export uh, uh, completely all the database and uh, all the files inserted in the in the system uh, and you can decide if uh, you can export deciding which work group you want uh, to export or or all together or just a single work group uh, the same job package that is exported can then be imported into another Swiss Forage instance, for, for example. And there you can decide if this data is uh, in a read-only workgroup or can be inserted in an editable workgroup where you can 
uh, continue to edit data or change the data. There is a, a nice interactive stratigraphy uh, uh, viewer where you can zoom in and uh, select uh, every layer of the stratigraphy. Uh, the interesting is that this component is, uh, is uh, decoupled from the from Swiss Forage and it is available on the npmgl.com so you can reuse it in other application. There is the in the viewer and also in the editor mode uh, every single field of the database is searchable so you can find uh, exactly what uh, you are looking for based on uh, geographical uh, data or every single uh, borrow attribute also every single stratigraphy layer attribute the the status that uh, the borrow is uh, in the publication workflow and also by work group. You can uh, the, the define uh, the disclaimer in, in a multi-language, uh, uh, you can insert multi-language disclaimer. It is uh, a markdown uh, compatible uh, uh, page. So you can use a markdown uh, la markup language. Uh, every user that agreed to the disclaimer is uh, registered, so you remember which user has agreed. And uh, during the editing and management of the disclaimer, there is a preview mode. Uh, like uh, the custom welcome message, also there you can decide and, uh, and change the, the title and the welcome message of the login page using uh, Markdown. It is multi-language and uh, in the settings you can, like uh, the disclaimer, you can see directly how it will uh, uh, be visible to the user. And uh, there are many more uh, features. Uh, we have the feedback messages where user can uh, send bug uh, reports or data error feedback or general feedbacks. Uh, we manage uh, uh, the, the management of user roles in work group are embedded into the system. Uh, you can customize the visibility of uh, form fields for the, especially for the stratigraphy data. You can define and add custom borrow identifiers. There are other fields that can be inserted. Uh, there is the guest mode, so also user that doesn't have a, a, a user and the password can enter to see the published uh, data. And there is a document file storage system that where uh, uh, users and editors can uh, add files, every kind of files, uh, like attachment to, to every uh, borrower. Uh, in the next release, we are working on a uh, on a new file uh, management service that uh, currently is only uh, compatible with Amazon S3, but we will uh, uh, embed this system into uh, inside uh, uh, the, the Swiss Forage. And uh, also the GeoPackage export uh, will be asynchronous because uh, we have uh, found that uh, when you start to export uh, a very big quantity of data, uh, it happens that it's going in, a, in timeout. So it's better to make it asynchronous and, and notify the user when it's finished. Uh, so I can make a quick demonstration just to see some of these uh, features. Oops. Okay. Okay, here I have. So this is the welcome page. You can enter as a viewer, as, as a guest, as a viewer, or I will enter as an administrator. 
here we have all the all the filters you can filter by uh, by every uh, borrow uh, metadata there is a filter by map so we can just zoom in and uh, find the uh, every borrow once uh, you find your borrow then you can navigate the stratigraphy get the the attributes you have attachments and uh, of course the borrow details so let's go in the editor mode for in the editor it's similar to uh, the the viewer, but uh, you can apply and change the data. So we can move the position, uh, modify all the data. Here we have a, a, we can start and stop the editing, so we don't have uh, any conflict between the users. Here we can add our comments, so I can something about the original name please check and then if when it's over i can send to in the workflow uh, we in the settings we can choose between different uh, view mode we can select uh, external uh, WMS. We can de decide which filter to be visible in the viewer and the, in the editor mode. The users. Here is the term of service. So I can change. Update the disclaimer. Same for the login page. is the export and so on. Uh, so if I enter as a viewer, okay, the disclaimer is always shown, the user agree, and now here uh, it seems that there is no published data, so the user cannot see it. Okay, and uh, maybe I have to switch to another instance. This is it. No. Okay. There are few da data. I cannot show you a lot. Uh, so, yeah, I'm finished. So, Thank you very much. Here uh, you have some links. You can uh, go to see the source code. We are working on some better documentation that is coming in the next release. You can go to test the application. And uh, well, I would like to thank uh, Swisstopo for uh, the, uh, this uh, possibility to give us to build this uh, software and thank you very much for if you have some question uh, i cannot hear you joshi joshi whoops hello okay. now you should be able to. okay thank you very much for your talk uh, Mina. Uh, do uh, we do have some questions? So let's get it started, shall we? So the first question is as follows: Who are your main external users? What are the necessities of borehole information? In what kind of activities they apply that information? Hydro, environmental research, natural resources, exploration. Let's go. Well. Uh... So this 
this platform is uh, is has been uh, built uh, thinking about uh, data exchange between uh, uh, local administration and uh, the, the central government so the main user would be local administration like in switzerland we have cantons and every canton uh, can use this software to uh, share data, the data with uh, local uh, with the gov central government and it will be able to share the data following uh, all the uh, the standard the, the definition of the standard uh, this is not only implemented to uh, for uh, local uh, administration but with uh, using this concept of the of work groups and uh, roles you can also create uh, work groups that uh, can be used by external entities especially for people that uh, work on uh, drilling and uh, and uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, of work and uh, so all right thanks and this yeah good. mainly this is done for uh, for experts but... shall i proceed with the next question Had you any relationship with the borehole extension project for QGIS? Uh, no, I, I, I see this. It's very interesting. Um, well, uh, this Swiss forage system is mainly oriented for the in for the Switzerland uh, case. Uh, it's not so uh, it's not so general uh, implemented uh, and it follows strictly the uh, the, the swiss standard about uh, borrowers all right and the last question is are you supporting other standards like borehole ml rescue ml and pod ml no up to now no but uh, i think it will be quite easy to to add this kind of uh, possibility to export data in different uh, format so i don't see any problems to add this kind of extensions but up to now it's not uh, it's not possible i see okay there are no more questions so we can uh and here if it's okay with you or do you want to add anything feel free to no, thank okay. you very much thank you very much for your talk and see you and if it's for you bye bye bye